Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, and my geeky compadres, what's going on? It's Wednesday, it's a little bit later than usual, but I do have a video for you. Here we go. Okay, this week I picked up some stuff that I'm going to show you, like I always do. First, we're going to start off with the non-comic book stuff. And we got three vinyl records this week. Uh, first up being Dr. John, uh, Hollywood Be Thy Name. Uh, this is a live recording of Dr. John. If you don't know Dr. John, he is uh, like a jazz piano like singer, player. But, um, like the Louisiana kind of Cajun, uh, jazz. Um, the only thing I can think of is, uh, if you saw the Disney movie Princess and the Frog, uh, that kind of music. Um, I love it. He's great. And, uh, pretty stoked to get that. I got it for like three bucks. Uh, next we have... This Eric Clapton uh, record called Me and Mr. Johnson. It's Eric Clapton doing uh, Robert Johnson, old Robert Johnson covers. Uh, so super awesome. Uh, Robert Johnson being um, one of the great, great grandfathers of the Delta Blues. Uh, so Eric Clapton um, doing his covers and it's it's going to be awesome. I haven't listened to it yet, but it's going to be awesome. And then last but not least, uh, a big album as far as the RWC world is concerned. Uh, and that is Let's Face It by the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Uh, love this album. Super good. Uh, and actually, the vinyl is this really cool like kind of it's actually see-through you can see me through it see uh but it's this purple blue pink marbly type vinyl uh so pretty stoked about that okay let's get into the comics huh now i haven't even bagged and boarded the new comics from this week yet so you have to bear with me on that one but here we go daredevil number seven uh then we have Tokyo Ghost number seven. Then we have X Men, the worst X Men ever, number four of five. So there's only one more left, which kind of sucks because I love that title. Uh, it's really good. And then finally, after I don't even remember how many months it's been, but we have Afterlife with Archie. This is number nine. Um, love that book, just doesn't come out very, very often at all. Next, we have some back issues that are in terrible order. Like, not even in order at all. Sorry. Um, but here we go. We got Daredevil, uh, issue 118 from volume 2. Uh, and then we have some Mark Wade Daredevil that I'm not sure if I have doubles of these or not now. I haven't checked, but I saw them there for a dollar and decided to pick them up just in the off chance. Because I know I don't have any one single digit ones except for the second volume, which I don't think was weighed. It was. I don't even remember. Anyway, uh, Daredevil, this is issue three. Then we have 12, 14, 15, 16. 17 and 20 pretty stoked about those uh, keep checking off daredevils as I go along uh, next I'm just really stoked about all four of these books so trying to figure out which order I want to show them but uh, we have the Eltingville Club uh, Evan Dorkin book I actually there's no numbers on it I don't know much about this at all 
All I know is that it says Evan Dorkin right there, and I had to pick it up. So uh, Eltingville Club, this one, and then Eltingville Club, this issue. I guess I haven't looked at it yet. Don't know if there's actual numbers on it or not, but uh, pretty stoked about that. And then one I'm super, super stoked about is uh, this The Bummer Trilogy by Evan Dorgan. Uh, it's part of the Hectic Planet uh, series that he did. And I have the trades of all of them, and it's a fantastic story. I love the characters. Um, just super stoked to have this in a single now. Um, I'm... I'm always on the lookout for Evan Dorgan stuff, especially the Hectic Planet stuff. And as far as back issues go, this is the last one I got this week. It is Inhumans Volume 1, Issue 12. This completes my Volume 1 run of Inhumans. I can finally read it now. Uh, I'm super stoked about reading it. Uh, it's a title I was really trying to get into, and I didn't want to read the first volume uh, until I got all of them, because I didn't want to have that, like, lull in the reading uh until i found it so but here we go issue 12 pretty stoked about that and then i got one trade this week uh don't really know much about it uh looks interesting though and it's called uh teenagers from mars uh i love the button there it says ask me about comic books um Yeah, I don't, I, like I said, I don't know anything about it, but uh, it looks pretty fantastic. I mean, here you go. That, that's pretty much all I've seen. So, stoked about that. Uh, and that's it for this week. Um, hope you guys got out to your shops. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later.